One of the big challenges in rural America is access to high quality, high speed internet broadband. It's absolutely essential. In pre-COVID, a lot of us had a debate with our urban colleagues. Post-COVID, it's obvious that you can't be in the 21st century without a, a high-speed internet any more than you can be in rural America without electricity. And one-third of rural Americans are unable to access broadband of 100 megabits per second, and you've got to have speed. That's just above average speed for most internet users. And when our communities lack access to quality internet, they're locked out of the global economy and cut off from critical services, and we want to change that. Workers have fewer opportunities. Farmers and small businesses are isolated from new markets, and our kids are really limited in their educational opportunities. So we need a rural broadband that will do three things. One, it will have the high speeds, 100, 100. It has to be future-proofed in the build-out so that five or 10 years from now, one or two farm bills later, we're not in the same position, lagging behind urban America. Anything short of that, we'll be back here doing this all over again. Second, we've got to make federal broadband efforts more effective and efficient. It's one thing to get the money. It's another thing to spend it wisely and make it effective and get that broadband service to the last farm on the dirt road in your small town. Finally, USDA needs the tools and flexibilities to address the long-term scalable broadband needs of underserved rural communities. And all of our communities are somewhat different. That's what makes the challenge so great, even in Vermont, which we'll hear about. We've got places where there's lots of mountains. We've got places where it's kind of flat. So we've got a lot to do and a lot to hear from. We uh, can do this. You know, rural electrification, that was 100 years ago. It took about 15 years. And that was a social commitment, not a business decision. It was based on a recognition by Congress of the importance of rural America. We've got to do that again.